Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana. I've, I'm back. I feel like I'm back from a long journey. Um, that is, still hasn't ended. Uh, we have moved into our new home and um, there were so many things that needed taking care of. Um, I'll probably talk about them over the next few weeks. Um, I'm still um, in taking care of house mode. So I'm happy to be here, but there are so many things, just one after the other. Um, and we had to, um, had to find contractors and it, it has been a little bit of a journey and it took me much, much longer than I had anticipated to set up my craft studio. But finally last night, I dragged my carcass over to my stamping table, um, still behind me. I still have some things to organize. This is a completely new room. I have to figure things out. I have to figure out a slightly new layout. And so, um, how, how do I say it? I wish I had had more time to plan and prepare, but between the time we bought the house and the time that we moved in, it was, um, uh, two two months and it was only six weeks from the time we bought the house until um, we actually got the house and then it just was lots of things to take care of so I'm sure some of you who've been through this journey um, moving and house buying um, are familiar with all of this and know how crazy things are so I apologize for not being here i i have missed going live i've missed all of you um so you know it's it's hard when someone moves like i um personally um i i know uh in the past when we've moved it can take about six months to a year to you know kind of feel at home and at ease new neighbors new neighborhood new um not quite um, new, completely new. We only moved 20 minutes away, but still far enough that you don't see your normal people every day. And um, so it's going to take a little while. So you guys are going to be there um, weekly for me and I'll be there for you. And um, we'll, we'll do this journey together. And um, so I'm excited to be here. Um, now that I've uh, talked a little bit, um, let me know how you guys are doing and I'll talk to you all afterwards. I wanna jump in and share with you my super cute project with a trucking along bundle. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It holds two Hershey's nuggets and I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, it's, it's not hard either. So um, I made it in a Christmas theme so this is um, the front and this is the back. It's perfect for stamping a little message. Now, don't want to do Christmas theme? How about a birthday theme? And then you could just um, switch this greeting out on, on the side of the truck and make it something a little bit different. So it's kind of cool. I did wrap my little Hershey's nugget up and I stuck a little um, bow on top of it. Um, I'll show you in a second how this um, this little truck cab comes out because it's kind of hard to do it when I'm holding it up like this. Um, and I made it in two colors. Um, that one was Poppy Parade and this one is Boho Blue. And there is the little nugget. You might be able to see this color a little bit better. Um, you can dress it up a little bit. I just did a couple of things for the front. Um, it's um, I added some little headlights and I added kind of a windshield. I'll show you how I did that. So they're both super, super cute. And I'm going to show you how to, to make them. Now, just a little caveat, the trucking along bundle is not available right now, but it should be back in stock on Monday. As soon as it becomes back in stock. I know a bunch of you have already gotten it, including some of my own customers have been able to get it. Um, but the trucking along bundle, um, the stamp set went out of stock, but Stampin' Up! produces their own stamp sets. So they will, um, they should be back in stock on Monday. But if they come in stock sooner, I'm going to send out an email letting you know that they're back in stock. And if you want this bundle, please don't 
wait um, because I know it's going to go back out of stock again. So if you want it sooner, um, go ahead and, and get it quickly. Um, don't wait. <laughs> don't think, oh, I'll add something to that order like in the next day. It probably won't be there anymore. So I'm just saying just go ahead and get it as soon as, um, as you see it come up. And don't forget we have bonus days going on. So the bundle is, let me just double check the price on the bundle. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and um, going back to, let me see what the price is. I think in the US, this um, bundle is $41.25. So you want to add a little bit something to your order so that you at least get up to the, um, the $50 mark. So that way you get my host code gift of the month. Oh, I should put that up too. I have a new host code. One thing I forgot to do. I was so organized. Oh my gosh. I um I tried to make sure I had thought of everything. I did a sound check, but when you know it, I did not get up my new host code. So let me do that right now. Because you'll want to use my new host code. This is not it um, right here. I'm going to add my new host code and here we go. Change the month. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay, I need to make this a different color so you can actually see it. Let's see, let's make it this color. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it. Um, so that is my host code for the month. So if you spend uh, $50, you'll get a bonus day coupon. So what is a bonus day coupon? You spend $50 this month and you get $5 off next month. So um, then you'll also get my uh, host code gift with this this month. It's the Iridescent Rhinestone Jewels. So um, don't forget to use that when you um, check out. Now you get a uh, bonus host code, those um, uh, bonus days host codes that for every $50 you spend. So if you're spending more um, and you're close to $100, make sure you get up to 100 so that you can get that coupon. So it's for every 50. Um, my uh, host code gift, you only earn one per month though. So just um, make sure you realize that. Okay, I am going to get rid of that host code. I'll share it with you again at the end. And let me pop over to my other camera. I'm still, oh my gosh, my table's different. My setup's different. Everything's so different, but we'll figure it out. Okay, this is the trucking a long bundle right here and it has the stamp set and the punch and you'll want to get the stamp set too because that is what the detail is on out that you punch out and it really makes the truck look a lot better so i would recommend getting both of them together as a bundle and then you'll have that christmas greeting as well and the little tree so make sure you get them as a bundle because then you can save um 10 percent the punch is actually available right now so if you are placing an order today and planning on placing another order in the future you could get the punch right now it's just the stamp set that's not available oh and before i forget i do have a project sheet for you um, and this will be mailed out to all my email list subscribers tomorrow so make sure you're on my email list if you're not already on there check down in the link below and you will be able to get on there okay let's get started and i'm going to oh you know what i wanted to do before we started let me just show you how this works. So this little nugget, you'll just pull out like that and you can see there's the little truck bed. And this part, I have not put glued in at all, but see this little part? This is the front cab of the truck. If you wanna wrap this nugget, you can do that as well. I just kind of left it blank, but there's enough space. You can see there's enough space to wrap it. And then you see this is just, the truck bed but it would look rather let's grab nuggets to show you i mean i suppose you could just do this 
but it doesn't look as good, right? It really needs that like front part of the cap. So that's why you create this little front piece. You slip your little nugget in, you tuck this one in, just tuck it into the front, and then you put this one in the back and then it kind of looks much more like a truck should, right? So I wanted to show you that. So um, that was the kind of the little tricky little piece that, that I did. Okay, so let's get started. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the bed of the truck, the, the piece that the Hershey's Nuggets sit in. And so we are going to grab, I need my stylus book. This is my scoring board. And I've got a little piece of cardstock. And this one measures three inches by two and three eighths. And we're going to score this at the half inch mark on all four sides. Pretty easy peasy. Half inch, half inch, oops. Kind of went around my finger and half inch. So this is what it looks like when you're finished scoring it. Okay, let's pop this to the side for just a moment and we'll grab our scissors. I'm gonna have the long side facing me. You could also do it on the short side, but then sometimes you see little these little tabs sticking out. So the reason I'm cutting into the long side rather than the short side is because it finishes off nicer. So long side facing you, just cut up to the score line, just to the first score intersection. You're just gonna make yourself a little tab and we'll do that at all four places. So we'll do both of those. Then we'll flip to the other long side and we'll do that one and we'll do that one. And then we're just going to grab my bone folder and we'll fold over and fold along all the score lines. And I like to use my bone folder because We'll have nice crisp folds when we do that. So when these glue down here, you'll see, you might have, you might see when you glue down, you might see like a little bit sticking out over the top of the truck, like right here on the top. Don't worry about that because that's getting glued to the side of the truck. So it's not going to show. So um, we'll just take this grab our glue and I'm just gonna put glue on all four tabs okay if you have any questions for me make sure you leave them in the comments I'm gonna come read the comments at the end because I get distracted and then um, <laughs> my video will be two hours long and I don't want it to be two hours long all right, so I'm gonna come in and I'm just making sure my score line matches up with my corner right here. Okay. All right, okay. So this is the bed of the truck and we can just set that aside for a moment and I'm going to bring in let me make sure this is my scrap piece. I'm pretty sure my rulers are now further out of reach. So I'm going to have to figure out how I uh, organize this room. Okay. Okay. So this is just a scrap piece of cardstock um, that I'm going to use to stamp and punch the trucks. I'm going to use Knight of Navy ink. I actually use Knight of Navy on both of these. It's a very dark ink. It almost looks like black and um, it stamps very nicely on our cardstock. So sometimes I use a dark ink rather than black and that's today's one of the cases. I've got my truck mounted on a D block. I'm gonna tap, 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 tap and we'll stamp that truck right over here and we'll grab the punch for those of you who have trouble with punching i like to punch up in the air but if you have trouble with these punches 
what I recommend doing, I'm going to show you right here, put it down on the surface, then line up your um, image. It helps sometimes, I'm going to stand up to do this to kind of line up, and I'm going to partially press down to kind of clamp it without actually punching all the way through. Once I like the look of it, I'm going to use both heels and punch down, or you can use one heel and punch down. And that is the best way if you don't have that finger strength in your hand. Um, and then we're also going to punch another trim. So I'm just, okay, good. Because I got a little smudge of ink or something on that one. And I was like, ha, huh, good. So we have two trucks and one is stamped on and the other is not stamped on. So we'll turn, if this one's facing this way, then the other truck should be facing this way, okay? Because otherwise they won't match up. So one facing one direction and one facing the other direction. And then grab your greeting. I'm gonna do this Christmas greeting. And you know, this could be easily made into different things, but I decided to do Christmas. Um, so just in the same color ink, wishing you a Merry Christmas. We're trying to keep it really simple. Um, you can stamp the wheels on here, but I kind of like to cheat and use my basic black Stampin' Blends. I'm using the light one. I'm just going to do this because sometimes it's a little hard to line this up perfectly, and I'm assuming you're going to want to make a lot of these. So this is a faster and more foolproof method for doing that and just use it to line up. I uh, also you um this stamp set does come with a um so you don't have to color the truck bed so if you wanted to stamp on white you could I would just practice um doing it sometimes it's easier to stamp outline first and sometimes it's easier to stamp the bold first you give it a try, but I would, before you break into your cardstock, grab some computer paper and practice. I always like to practice um, before I go on to good cardstock, and then um, you can do that. But this saves yourself a step because you've already got colored cardstock, so you're good to go. All right, so we're gonna attach this to this. So we're gonna turn this over. This, um, by the way, is the one that is, um, stamped on the other side and we'll just take this and we're going to put glue on the edge and we're going to match the bottom of this box up with the bottom of the truck and then we'll just kind of center it um i'll show you in just a second we'll center it it's not going right to the edge okay so just keep that in mind when you're that it's not going to be right to the edge so once I've got that situated just make sure it's kind of like right along the edge right there and then let me just show you see there's a little bit over on that side and a little bit over on that side okay so just like that so now we're gonna do we're gonna that's all pressed down and good it doesn't look very good right now, I tell you, but it looks better as time goes on. So then we're gonna take this and we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of bring it down. We're kind of centering it. And then I'm just gonna pinch it until it's, it's good. So we've got the first part of the truck and you could just load nuggets onto this part, um, but this is what's gonna make the truck look a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you part two. We're gonna create the cab of the truck. This isn't hard. Uh, you just need a piece of cardstock. This is boho blue and I've cut it to four and three quarters. Let me just double check. It's four and three quarters by one and three eighths. But before you cut the one and three eighths, cut it just a hair, just a hair shorter than one and three eighths. You want the full four and three quarter inch length, 
but this side, cut it just a tiny bit shorter because then it's going to fit in the cab just a little bit better because this length right here is one and three eighths. So if you make it just a teeny tiny bit shorter, it's gonna just slide in there a little bit easier. We'll put the long side up at the top and let me grab my measurements. All right, so we'll start off at one inch mark one and a half, two inch, two and three eighths, two and three quarters, and finally three and three quarters. Okay. We're going to fold this up. So just let me point out, this is what it looks like. This, this end tab and this end tab the, that will be the bottom of your truck, okay? So starting from where you started scoring, this is gonna be the bottom. The next one is going to be the side or where the bumper of the truck would be. This is going to be the top of the front cab, so we're gonna uh, fold it in the opposite direction. So bottom, side, the top of where you would have your, like where you would open the, the hood of the car and look at the engine. Then this is the windshield. This is the top of the cab. And then next is the piece that comes down. You can kind of see at the back of the cab. And you just kind of work your way to fold this shape together into like that, okay? What I like to do then, once I've got it into the shape of the cab, I'll glue these bottom two pieces together just to keep it together. And I'm gonna pinch right here Okay, so voila. So now what I wanna do is I wanna create, I wanna show you how I did that little window and how I did the little, um, the little headlights. So I've got a little piece, this is lemon, lemon lolly cardstock. And I have, um, this is an old one, in, one eighth inch um, handheld circle punch. We don't currently have this in our store anymore, but I left a link for you down in the description of my video um, to an Amazon punch. It's a, a, a different brand of punch, but it's similar to this one. Um, and that's what I would use um, if you didn't have one. It's very good to have a one eighth inch circle punch for various reasons. If you like to do punch art, you just want to punch a couple of those and then there's a little little place where they catch and then I'll just put in a dot and a dot that's probably too much um, and my my putty thing is not working right now my take your pick tool um, the putty is empty so I am I'm going to just plop those into place with my fingers but the, this would be a good oh, this would be a good use for the take your pick tool I was trying to get rid of the excess glue okay so those are little tiny headlights and I need to grab some cardstock let me see and my trimmer which are not where they used to be <laughs> All right, so in order to make um, this little um, window windshield up front, because I want to kind of make it look like the, the side window, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'll take a piece of cardstock. I'm going to cut it, okay, it is already about one and a quarter inches, so that's good. And I'm going to cut off um, a quarter inch, so I think it's right about there. look right looks a little thinner than a quarter inch 
here I think I, I went a little bit too narrow so let's make this a true quarter inch I know this is like a teeny tiny teeny tiny measurement let's see if this is also no I think I'm gonna need to make this just a teeny tiny bit smaller too one and a quarter we're, we're talking tiny tiny measurements here if you're good at a hand drawing you could also hand draw a window on okay so but this is what I did so this is one and oh you know what I think it's supposed to be one and one eighth yeah I think it was supposed to be one and one eight no wonder it's not right okay I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit more see I'm managing even though it's teeny tiny one and one eighth by a quarter inch it's tiny but you just cut it off of a bigger piece I'm going to take my knight of navy cardstock and I'm just gonna dip the edges just press down don't press down too hard because you don't want to damage your ink pad but just so you've got the very tippy edges and I don't know if you can see that but now there's an outline to that so when you glue it down it's actually going to look like a line like a window so let me see which side looks better I think it's this one so I'll just put a little tiny bit of glue on there and I know this isn't probably the best looking window in the world but it just helps finish off that truck just a teeny tiny bit oh you know what I did wrong <laughs> these little headlights you know they are not supposed to be on here they're supposed to be on here so we'll just we'll remove them because they're just gonna make this um, We'll, we'll just pretend I put them in the right spot, okay? They were supposed to go on here because this one tucks into here. So, okay, nugget. We slide the nugget in, we slide this in, okay? So the only difference here would be there would be headlights on, on the front, just like this one here, okay? But we've got a nice little window now, okay? And then we're going to add, we're going to add, sorry, I'm moving them out of camera range because I don't have a visual anymore on where everything is. We're going to take a nugget. I cut a piece of designer series paper and grab my paper. This is also new paper. This would be a great add on um, to your bundle to get up to that $50 mark so you can get a bonus day coupon. This is the one horse open sleigh paper. This just became available in the online exclusives. It's so pretty. It's got kind of nice um, neutrals on the background and some nice scenes. Like look at, there's a little fox. There's like, so you could really make some pretty cards with this without too much work. There's a little Bambi. There's just a lake scene. Just, just kind of pretty pretty paper and then some neutral backgrounds so you have different ways that you can use this paper you can use the scenes or you can use the neutral paper so I'm just going to take um, I've cut this strip of designer series paper into three by one inch one by three and I'm just gonna wrap it around the nugget kind of I kind of like to dent it right where it goes over the edge right here not around the top but just right there and you can use tear and tape or um, seal if you want to and I'm just going to just put a teeny tiny bit of glue and then press it down okay so now I've got my little nugget wrapped and then this is also new on the online exclusives this is the dotted real red ribbon it's about three eighths of an inch wide and rather than tying this around the nugget because it's thick I didn't want to add bulk I'm gonna um, just make a knot and I'm twisting the ribbon as I'm knotting it so that the ends both display the the right side of the ribbon okay because um, the back side it's it's okay but um, I, I want to I want to see those polka dots 
So I'm just kind of manipulating it so that both sides, you can kind of twist it around um, as you're knotting and that will give you that look. So we'll just kind of cut a little bit on an angle. See how cute that is? just a tiny little bow and you just need a tiny little bit of this ribbon and it will go a long way for you if you just do that little knot and then we're going to grab haha ha, i'm glad this at least is in the right place just a little bit of tear and tape just put that down you might ask um, can i use a mini glue dot you can but it's less surface area i think a little strip of tear and tape will actually hold it on longer and oh Ask me about adhesives um, because I've just had a little battle of my own with adhesives in this house. Um, it's been so, so humid here that nothing is sticking. So you want to try and make sure, and this wasn't for a stamping project, this was for a house project. You want to make sure that you have a good amount of adhesive so that it sticks because if you're sending this or giving away, you don't know how humid someone's place is, so you want that little bow to stick on, and then you just tuck it in there, and voila, there is the truck. Oh, and you wanna see the tree. I wanna show you how to do the tree real quick, okay? Let's do that too. So I've got a little piece of soft seafoam cardstock. I've got, um, these are the two steps you're gonna need um, to create the tree. This is, these are on B blocks. And I'll use Shaded Spruce because the name Shaded Spruce just screams I need to do this um, as a Christmas tree. I'm going to take a scrap piece of cardstock. I'm going to start with my bold stamp. I'm going to stamp off once. Oop, that did not go very well. Let's do that again. You want to make sure you stamp off evenly. Okay, so I've got that down. And then I'm going to take my bold stamp and I'm going to kind of twist it. That worked out really well, better than um, some of my other efforts. So just as long as it's close to that, um, that looks like a tree. So I want to keep a little bit of this cardstock down at the bottom so I have something to adhere to. So I'll just take my snips here. I'm going to kind of cut off some of the cardstock. I'll show you what I do with this out of the way so I'm just gonna come around come around and just kind of freehand cut this they say to move the paper not the scissors so I'm not always perfect with that but this side you can kind of slice down so you see I left a little bit of a tab down at the bottom. You don't want it to be too big because the truck side is only half an inch. So you don't you won't want it to be an inch. So about a half inch tab down at the bottom there. And then all you need to do, you might want to take this out for a minute or do it afterwards. You just put a little bit of pombo there. And then we'll just slide this in and we'll just try and get it as close as much of the tree pulled out before you see that green line at the bottom and that's all there is to adding that tree and then you can slide that in and then on the back side you've got your wishing you a festive Christmas and it's just so so very cute um, I'm trying to think, some of you might um, worry that um, this um, would slide out um, with the recipient. I mean, it, it is everything is loose in here. Um, you might wanna see if you can get some small um, cellophane bags or something like that to put these in um, so that you have, um, you know, so you can gift them, um, but they're, they're they're pretty good they're they're not super flaky or anything like that they um just really 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 cute really cute and so that's the project make sure you uh, are on my email list to get the project sheet 
I am going to come over to you and see if you have any questions for me because I do a lot of talking, but I'm not good at reading inst other people's comments while I'm working. So I'm, I might have done something that um, I needed to explain. So let's go in and say hello to all of you. And um, just don't forget, bonus days are going on right now. We did have new items on the clearance rack. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. There is a link for the clearance rack down below as well. Um, here is my host code. I'll just pop that up right now for you, um, just in case you need to know that. And remember, I will let you know once I see that the trucking along bundle is back in stock. I checked right before I came on here and I didn't see that it was back in stock yet. But um, as soon as I see, I imagine sometime on Monday it will come back in stock. It said the 17th um, as the ETA for the, the stamp set. The punch is available right now, though it's just not the stamp set. So um, Stampin' Up is bringing in more stamp sets, so we can, so you can buy the bundle. All right, let's say hello, hello Tanya. Oh, she says she can't wait to see this one. I'm so glad. I hope I hope it met your expectations. Um, hello, Gail. Wondering why I'd want the truck set, but now maybe a purpose. Oh, well, I'm glad. Yeah, it's, I mean, I think it's fun to give um, little treats and things like that, uh, little favors and stuff. It always puts a smile on people's faces. Um, Anna says, wow, I can't believe I've actually caught you live. I've always watched the replays. This should be a good one for sure. I'm excited. Oh, well, yay, Anna. I'm glad you, um, join me live i'm gonna try and do a better job of letting people know when i go live in the future i have not been very good at doing that so maybe a little email um, would be a good thing so that people know that they can catch me live um good good afternoon deborah nice to see you too hello ramona good to see you and pat and she missed me too thank you pat um and Tanya says she missed me too. And um, Kristen says hello. Um, let's see. And says, you're amazing. I love paper in engineering. Apparently you do too. I do, I do. This is the first thing that I wanted to do. I had just got the bundle like this week and it was sitting in a box. It was the first Stampin' Up! order that has come since I moved in here. And I was just like so excited to, to get it and open it up. And last night I was so tired. I got kind of the basic design designed last night and I was just like, I crawled into bed and I just like, I'll figure it out in the morning. And not only that, I had so many things to figure out today. Um, because I'm in a new space, I had to set up my um, camera, my microphone, and even my printer, which my printer is like a piece of work. It, it's sometimes the Wi-Fi setup is really easy and sometimes it's not. This time it worked, so I'm glad I was able to print out that project sheet. Um, Jen says she loves trucks. Ah, I think, you know what? I don't know if I'd want to drive a truck, but I do think old time trucks are look super cute. There's some sort of nostalgia about those old time trucks and Stampin' Up! has had a few over the years, but I don't think we've ever had a bundle like with a um, with a punch. So that's cool and new. Um, it was just there was just a bird that landed in the bush outside my window here. Um, new things are distracting here. Um, hello, Stuart. Good to see you. Oh, and thanks for the congratulations on the new home. I feel like um, maybe in half a year to a year, I'll love my home a little bit more. <laughs> right now, it's a, a sore spot. And I'm so grateful to have a home. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I'll talk about this coming up on future videos. But um, it's just also a source of anxiety, and um, so it's it's been it's been a little journey these last few weeks. Um, 
Hello, Sue. Um, she says, you're back, missed you. I hope you are loving your new home. Almost, almost, we're getting there. Um, Nancy says, love the projects. Best project yet with the truck punch. Ah, that's great, thank you. And Nicola is watching from Belfast. Oh, that's awesome. I love it when um, people come from different countries and continents and uh, because our family is um, where we've got some background, um, which I'm sure if you've never seen me before, you'll learn about eventually. Hello, Marty. Oh, she's so happy. I'm glad to see you too. Um, I'm making her Pittsburgh day brighter. Well, I hope you get some nice weather soon. We had rain all, well, not all morning, but the sun is finally shining. So as soon as I'm done here, my husband and I are going for a walk and getting out in the sun before it probably starts raining again. Um, Sue said, somehow I knew you would make a nugget box with a truck punch. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you thought I would. I, I wanted to. Um, my first few attempts, I, you know, this was an attempt number one last night. I started off with a single nugget and it just didn't look good. It needed that second nugget. And I was like, we're kind of reluctant to turn them on the side, but then I did and it worked. And um, I tried to come up with the most an easy design because I didn't want something to be tedious for all of you because it should be fun when it's like two nuggets it should be fun and done and quick and I feel like this is relatively quick for a nugget one. Uh, Denise says congrats on your new home. I hope you've been having fun arranging things the way you want them. Oh my gosh Denise I have to tell you I have I like things in their perfect place and I don't want to put anything in place until it's got the perfect place and so it takes me twice as long as anyone else and so I don't know like I think once things are settled I'll feel like happy and right now I'm just like okay I need a new storage piece for like bathroom stuff our bathroom is the size of a postage stamp our master bath and I, I need to get some storage. We are eventually going to renovate that. And actually, we would have renovated that first. But other things came into play. And now we're going to do other things that we weren't anticipating doing way before our little postage stamp bathroom. So I'm going to have to get some storage for the little postage stamp of a bathroom. And um, so it's hard to place my stuff. I, I feel like I've been in like um, a hotel room. I haven't actually used my regular toiletries yet. I've been living out of my um, travel toiletries bag. It's it's crazy. My my brain must must be different than some people. Some people nest really quickly, and I'm like a. I need to find those perfect spaces. Okay, I have digressed too much. Let's go on. Um, Marty says, this is so cool. Nancy says, so glad to see you. I'm glad you got on, Nancy. Nancy emailed me earlier today and she said, oh, I miss you. And I said, well, I'm going live today. So um, yay, I got to see you. Hello, Ellie. Glad to see you too. Hello, Doris. Um, she says, driving and I can only see the live chat. Hope we get to get better reception soon. And congrats on the new cups. Thank you, Doris. And she can finally see me. Yay. Hi, Mary from Indiana, and she has the bundle coming. So awesome. You'll be all set to make this project when it arrives. Um, Denise likes the design of the cab. Thank you. Margo says hello from California. Kristen says the trucks are so cute. Um, she'll catch the rest on our replay and wishes everyone a good weekend. Hello, Diane. Good to see you on here. She says cute project. Um, Denise loves the project. Peggy says she can't wait for her stamp set to get here. Hi, Debbie. Oh, I'm glad you were able to join me live because I got the email. So please keep those coming. Okay, I'll try and do a better job of informing people. I'm kind of bad at that. Um, hi, Anna, um, oh my gosh, I can't even pronounce your name. Um, Naomi, um, I'm glad you came. Hello, Gian. Um, so glad the little truck, um, she loved the little truck I made. Um, Marty's going to rewatch the end. Um, Deborah says, so, so cute. 
a Gail says, I'm amazed with your move. You had time to work this creative little track. Well, it's been, I've been offline for, I think probably about three weeks now. It's, I wanted to be online so much sooner, but it just wasn't happening. And I, I had to take care of business and um, that required time, <laughs> time and a lot of research and money and effort and uh, yeah, a little bit of insanity, I think. Um, hello, Pauline, and she's from the UK. Oh, nice. I don't know how I ended up putting that uh, comment up there, Marty must have hit something. Um, Pauline's gonna watch the replay. Marty says, new house surprises are so much fun. Yes, and fun in quotation marks with a uh, googly-eyed emoji or like um, the emoji that has like, you know, the the scream, you know, that, that, uh, um, that um, painting by Edvard Munch with like the scream, like that kind of emoji. <laughs> Hello, Carol from Connecticut. Hi, Laura. Aww, I'm so glad you're here too. I missed you too. Um, Judy says, so happy to see you again. Congratulations on your new house. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, Sue says, we, we moved last year. It took five weeks to get my craft room together, but I love it and you will love yours too. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad you, you have a new craft room that you love. It's gonna take a little while in here. I think I need to get some window treatments in the morning. Uh, it gets, um, right now, this time of year, we get a lot of sunshine. So um, right now I don't have any window treatments uh, on the side of the house. So I'm gonna have to maneuver all of that and, and uh, work that out. But I guess you can sympathize, Sue, and, and um, uh, I'm glad you have a new space that you love. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me at my not so regular time. I really appreciate all of you and I missed you. I'll watch for my project sheet tomorrow, Saturday, and um, I will get that in your inbox, hopefully better than I've done the last few weeks when I was um, getting ready to, to move. That was crazy as well. Um, so have a great weekend and I will see you back here, hopefully at my normal times, um, uh, coming up in the future. I might have, um, some things where I may have to shift where I have contractors and stuff coming, but, uh, I will try and do a better job of informing you when I go live. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.